Okay, this is the interface for iMovie HD where you will download your movie and uh, begin editing your video. A few things to notice in the middle of the screen obviously is the video area where your video will be uh, when you're editing things. To the right is the clip bin where all of the clips that you will uh, download off your camera are. Below that is the timeline. The top layer is the video and the bottom two layers are audio. Right here in the center bottom left area is the toggle switch for editing and capturing video from your camera. So when your camera is plugged into the computer you will switch over to this camera mode to uh, collect your images. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add in a video of me talking and also uh, some b-roll. Before that I'm going to add a title. So I want to go into the typewriter area change this into uh, something that is related to what I'm going to be talking about and hit add and what that will do is create a title and if you hit play you will see the title roll across the screen <coughs> now the first clip I'm going to be working with is, is the clip of me speaking. This is where the audio for my video is and this is the most important thing to lay down and get right. So I want to scroll over here to the end and I don't necessarily want all the end part on there so I'm going to freeze it right there. Go up under edit and go to the crop selection. Crop it and now I have a crop here. Okay, today we're going to be looking at now obviously at the beginning there is some additional material that I don't want so I'm going to delete that as well. And right there should do. Again go to edit crop. Now I have a piece that I'm going to Today we're going to be looking at video editing and what I'm doing now is I'm Now I have a clip ready. So what I'm going to do is drag that clip onto the timeline. Now you'll see down here in the video edit area there is a uh, blue highlighted uh, clip that is me talking. And what I want to do is extract the audio from that because I want to have the audio play continuously while I am showing video from different scenes. So I'll go to advanced, extract audio, now below the video you will see a purple highlighted area that is the audio. You'll also notice that there are two yellow pins here that signify that the audio and the video are connected. We want to undo that so we go to advanced lock audio clip at playhead. Click on that and you'll see that those two little pins disappear. Now the audio is set, the video is set. And I want to go over to an area where I'm talking about B-roll. Video images of which is uh, and video using b-roll. So right about there I am going to split the video track again using edit split video clip at playhead and you'll notice now that there are two separate video tracks and if I move the playhead <coughs> you'll see that there's a split between those two tracks and so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to select some b-roll images including a coffee cup and remember that b-roll is no more than 
three to four seconds worth of image images. So I'm going to select this one as three seconds. Go to edit, cut, paste, and that will create a copy of that particular clip. I will then drag that down to the timeline, paste that in, and you'll notice that now there is a separate clip of the coffee cup in addition to the clips of me talking. Going back up here and doing that again. Now on this time I'm going to add a cross dissolve, so I want to make this a little bit longer. So that I'll be able to add that cross dissolve and not lose any of my clip. Edit, cut, paste. Take the clip from the clip bin, drag it into the area there. And then one more. Edit, cut, paste, drag that down to the area here. Oops. Now, between these two clips, I'm going to add a transition across dissolve. As we talked about in class, you do not want to use all the different transitions, so I'm going to increase this to two seconds. Drag that down to the timeline between the two, and you'll see a little plus icon. Let that go, and you'll notice it's rendering. So now I have a transition. Talking. So I'm right now laying down an audio track that I am going to use and splice in. Uh, so I'll add one more clip. Again, going back to three seconds. Edit, cut, paste, drag the clip into the thing here. <clears throat> now you'll notice again that my lips are not set uh, to the objects audio. while my. So, what I want to do is I want to reduce the size of this clip to where it fits into that area. And so I'm going to drag it to the end. Notice there's a little yellow line that sort of syncs up with the end of the audio. And then here I'm going to drag this over to where it meets up with the last B-roll clip. And so what I have then is uh, my audio and video are synced up so that I'm talking and I don't look like I'm talking in a uh, foreign film that has English subtitles. So to review, here are on to iMovie and show you how to edit audio and video using B-roll, which is uh, video images of things other than a person talking. So I'm right now laying down an audio track that I am going to use and splice in a video of other uh, objects while my voice is going on. So uh, I'll see you in a few minutes and hopefully this works. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to iMovie, and we will. Uh, if you need additional help, I'll be available for questions. Thanks.